everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this velvet headband. Now the velvet headband is a headband that is double thick. It's worked with two different pieces that are crocheted together in the end. I have used two different colors which gives it this kind of contrasting appearance. So you will need two colors of your velvet yarn and about 75 yards of each. The free written pattern for this uh, velvet headband can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then of course, as I already mentioned, two colors of your velvet yarn. So I'm using the Bernat Crushed Velvet. My color A is going to be this soft gray color and my color B is going to be this cream color. You're also going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for weaving in your ends. So uh, if it's your first time here, uh, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Check out some of the other videos there. There's lots of uh, other pattern tutorials as well as stitch tutorials. So I'm going to grab my hook and my yarn and we'll get started in learning how to crochet the velvet headband. So in our video today, we are actually going to start by working this underside of the headband. So if you're looking at the written pattern, we're going to be starting at the back of your headband. I'll just turn mine inside out. And it's this half double crochet uh, round and it's just simply rounds and rounds of, of those half double crochet stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn and you have a couple of options. You can either start by working a foundation half double crochet row, so that's when you work your chain stitches and your half double crochet row at the same time. Or you can start by making a chain of 50 stitches and then joining that chain at the start to make a ring. So that's what I'm going to do here in the video today, but alternatively you may choose to do uh, one round of a foundation half double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making our slip knot and then simply making a chain of 50 stitches. And you will see that it is kind of difficult at times to see where the stitches are when you're working with this velvet yarn, especially the crushed velvet because it has uh, those variations in color. But um, if you work under bright lights, it certainly helps quite a bit. So make your chain of 50 and then you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch to make a ring. I should have also mentioned at the beginning we are going to be starting using our color A and uh, for my pattern here that's uh, the darker color. So once you have joined with a slip stitch in your first stitch you're going to chain one and into that first stitch you're going to work a half double crochet stitch and then work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. So at the end of round one, you're joining with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch and you will have a total of 50 half double crochet stitches. Now for the rest of the back of your headband, you are going to simply chain one. You're not going to turn your work and you're simply going to work one half double crochet stitch in that same stitch as joining and then one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of each round, you're going to join at the top with a slip stitch.
you are going to repeat that round two, so the half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, you're going to repeat that until your band across measures approximately four inches. Now for me that was about eight rounds of half double crochet stitches. Okay, so half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, join at the end of each round with a slip stitch and the top of your first stitch. Repeat that until it measures approximately four inches or about eight rounds. And then you're going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and set this part aside and we will work on the front of our headband. Okay, so I've now worked the back of my headband. It's eight rounds of half double crochet stitches. It measures about four inches. And I'm going to weave in my ends and then I'm going to set this piece aside. Now it's up to you when you're working your pattern if you want to start with the front or start with the back. Uh, I just started with the back in this video uh, to make it a little bit simpler to follow. So you're then going to move on to the front of your headband, if you haven't done so already, and you're going to take some of your color B yarn, which for me is this lighter cream color, and you're going to start similar to the way that you started the inside or the back of your headband. You're going to either start with that half double crochet foundation round of stitches and you will need 50 stitches or as I'm going to start in the video today make your slip knot and chain 50 stitches and then without chain without twisting that chain join with a slip stitch into the first stitch Once you have your foundation chain of 50 stitches, you're going to chain one. You're going to half double crochet into that same chain as joining, and then into each chain all the way around. So at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 50 half double crochet stitches. Once you come back around to the first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch, in the top of your first stitch. For round two, you're going to start by chaining four, and this chain four is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. You're then going to skip the next stitch, which is right here, and into the next stitch, work one double crochet stitch. chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat it all the way around until you come to your final stitch and you're going to chain one and then just simply join into the third chain of your starting chain four. At the end of that row two, you're joining with a slip stitch into that chain three of the chain four. With uh, row three, you're going to, or round three, sorry, you're going to chain one. You will single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then you're going to single crochet into each chain one space and each stitch all the way around. So single crochet into each chain one space and into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 50 stitches. You will join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round four, it is the first of our uh, 
bobble stitch texture rounds. So what you're going to do for round four, you're going to chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and then work a bobble stitch into the next. At the end of round three, you will have joined with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You will only turn your work twice in this pattern, so this is the first time you're going to turn your work. We're now going to start working a round with our bobble stitches. And so for round four, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch. And then you're going to work one bobble stitch. To work your bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. You're going to repeat that three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop yarn over, draw through two loops, repeat, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, and one more time, and you will have five loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and draw through all five of those loops. In the next stitch, you're going to work one single crochet stitch, and that is going to cause your bobble stitch to really pop out there on the other side. After you've single crocheted in the next stitch, you're going to repeat the bobble stitch followed by a single crochet all the way around. So work a bobble stitch into the next stitch, and single crochet into the next. You will be seeing that texture is going to be popping out away from you. It's going to be popping out on the right side, which is why you had to turn your work. So repeat that all the way around, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting single crochet stitch, and then you're going to chain one and turn once again, which is going to get you set up for your round five. At the end of round four, you have joined with a slip stitch in your top stitch, and then you're going to turn your work once again. So now your bobbles are now facing you, and you can see their texture there in the front. For round five, we're gonna, going to chain one, and then you're simply going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet in the top of each bobble, and single crochet in each single crochet stitch. So do that all the way around and when you come back to that first stitch you're going to join in the top with a slip stitch. At the end of round five you joined in the top with your slip stitch. For round six you're going to chain four which counts as your double crochet and a chain one space. You're then going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, all the way around. You will end with a chain one, skip the final stitch, and then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. I'm just joining you with my slip stitch into the third chain of my chain four, and I've now completed round six. For the final round of the front of your headband, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet in each space and each double crochet all the way around. 
So at the end of this round, you will have 50 half double crochet stitches all the way around. You're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of uh, that first stitch and you're then going to fasten off and weave in your ends. If you haven't already, go ahead and at that time make the back portion of your headband and then uh, once I get all the way around here, we are going to learn how to put the two pieces together and work our edging for the headband. Okay, so now you will have your two pieces finished. You'll have the back side and then as well your front side. I'll just zoom out here for a sec so you can see them side by side. And we are now going to work at putting these two together. So what you are going to do, once I get my camera back in position here, we're going to turn our um, our back side, so that's your half double crochet side, you're going to turn it inside out so you have the wrong side facing. You're then going to take it and you're going to slip it just inside the front side of your headband and you're going to match up your edges just like so. You might see it peeking out a little bit on either side don't worry too much because those double crochet stitches they will will uh, pull out when you sew it together so that more of the color pops through as you can see it right here then what you're going to do uh, if you worked the back side first you will not have it joined but if you worked the back side uh, last you might not have fastened off and that's great what you're going to do if you have fastened off though is just anywhere on your headband working through both thicknesses you're going to insert your hook into any stitch and you're going to join i used my color a the darker color you're going to join with a slip stitch you're then going to work one round of single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. So into that same stitch is joining, work a single crochet stitch, and actually I'm going to turn it so I'm working in the other direction so that my stitches are facing forward. There we go. And you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You're always going to be working through both thicknesses and you always want to make sure that you're getting the next stitch in line so try not to skip stitches on either piece otherwise what is going to happen is you're going to have your fabric buckling so keeping your stitches in line work through both thicknesses and work one round of single crochet stitches all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch When you come back to your first stitch, you join with a slip stitch. You're then going to chain one and work one more round of single crochet. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And uh, then you're going to, once again, join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off and weave in your ends. Once you've completed this first side, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do the exact same thing for this opposite side. Uh, so work two rounds of single crochet stitches, fasten off, weave in your ends, and then your headband is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the velvet headband. Once again, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.